Hello everyone, this is Dan from Canadian AV Family and I have some updates of the car today. The first one you see behind me, or oh, oh, better, on top of me, this is like protection for the heat. Uh, pretty much I got this thing here, it's just amazing, it's a very sunny day and uh, the car has like a good temperature inside. So this is one of the things. And the second one, let me show here. The second one is this little contraption that I printed from, well, I found on the internet someone is actually selling those. It's a two-piece thing, let me show here. Uh, this is like standard click in and then all the wiring that goes inside. There's a lot of wiring here. So what I'm doing, I'm converting 12 volts into uh, two USB. Uh, in fact, those connectors, they have USB-C, but they have the adapter to USB-A. So this thing works with them. I have to use the two adapters. Uh, the whole idea is that when I put my phone to charge here, like I have like a, a Android phone, but I have a, a magnetic case, so you're gonna fit on and lock into place, so no more displacing around. The only thing though is that I was not able to find this connector. So, and then, yeah, I printed. Uh, it's not finished yet because I have to put some uh, copper wires in the middle here so it can connect. But this will pretty much replace this whole part here. So as you can see, this one, you can pretty much remove it. I did a couple of times. There's like some sticker under it. And then you have to just loosen out those bolts in the end. And eventually this will come up. So let me see if I can do this here. It usually doesn't take very long. It's just a matter of like, okay, I think I'll be able to do it. Good. It's so hard with only one hand here. Uh, harder than I imagined. There you go, it's out. So, almost this, this is the big charger, the, the one that doesn't work properly. And this is the connector here. So, this one goes on that piece. So my idea is to disconnect this part and use it for for the other one. So I don't need to use a USB. I just connected the 12 volts instead. This is how the connector fits into the printed version of that. And you wonder where did you got the printed uh, this for, for printing? Well, on the website of the, the connector itself, they have all these schematics so you can print the thing. It's quite impressive that they, they have this like able to, to just, if you want to print it, that's all. Amazing, right? So yeah, I will see how this works and I hope it works well. I will put like a layer of like, I don't know, probably black plastic or rubber on top of that because even though this looks like a nice color, I don't think will match my car. Uh, definitely I need to, to put some cover here. And I think with this, uh, I'll be able to finally charge two cell phones side by side without having to worry about it. Uh, a few more things is that uh, there was the recent update on the back. Uh, remember that I mentioned about this. So if you go on the front and you, let me show here, it, and you, you lock the rear display. Okay, now the, uh, almost. Okay, it's locked, right? There's a little Easter egg. So. When you say hi, look who appears here. Yay, that's awesome, right? And also, I will show uh, the new uh, member of the family. Give me a second here. And here he is. Meet, I believe, Gary, his name is the Gear Guard plushie. He's just the most amazing creature uh, we have at this home. Well, we also have the cats, but this is like the new integrant of the family. So it's just awesome. By the way, his pants is always falling, so I have to tuck it in all the time. He's not available in Canada, so I had to order in US, bring it here. I drove like the whole day, one day, just to get him. What do you guys think? Let me know. Oh yeah, I forgot about something. It's not only Gary that is part of the family now. I also have the new 2024 Matchbox R1T beautiful green what is amazing green look at the tails of that thing it's just like wow look at this right even the r1t is read on the back it's very hard to read here really tiny one on the corner look at this all the details congratulations matchbox 
to be able to do something so beautiful like that very good reproduction so uh please let me know in the comments if you really know the name of the gear guard plushie and uh, if you do if it's actually gary let me know as well thank you have a good day